Well, we are nearing our objective. I suppose you still want me to lead? I've mentioned that I'm nervous that you're behind me. I don't suppose you care, though. lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you That's expect what? him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Oh. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Potion of invisibility, no doubt. I can see her. Faintly. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Mm -hmm. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Oh, I'm not dead. Oh, I got better. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. Yes, How my head is feeling? spinning. I feel faint. No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Hmm. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. For some reason I believe you. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way and it prevented your death. Well, you said you didn't have a clear shot. More than you'll ever realize. Sure. The poison on that arrow took Not that me a much. year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. He said you killed Gallus. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well? Okay. I wish I knew. Journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Oh. Of course. I know this place. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Hmm. What does this mean? There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. I, uh, don't want to carry anything 
else. All right. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Mm hmm. So I was told. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Well, it's possible. Not sure how anyone could come to trust people within a guild of thieves. Seems contrary. Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. Mm -hmm. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. I see. Yes, would not be easy to prove his guilt if he's dead. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Plus, since he's made all of the friends with the guild, they would simply blame you for his death without actually investigating further. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. Hmm. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Fine. Very well. Remember, speak only to Antha. Trust no one else. Fine. Oh. What an end to that chapter of the adventure. Wild. Well. Off to the college, I suppose. Oh, I remembered as I climbed the steps here that in there is actually in town at the inn. An honest mistake. Hopefully he will have some answers. Nelikar. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I don't like doing business with Azora's faithful. Make it quick. What? Absolutely no time to deal with lowlifes these days. Go away. I understand Irid's been playing Hunt the Elf. Greetings, Archmage. Hunt the Elf, eh? Play I wouldn't fret over it. I'm not fretting. I don't want Irid playing those sorts of games. All right, all right. I'll speak to her. <laughs> Is she standing right there? No. That's Haran. Uh, if you want to play well, listen, this Hunt the Elf, Irid, the word if you need a there's an elf sitting Anything right over there Just let me know. who is a complete yes, jerk. Be sure well, to, to put him at the top of your call. list. Can't you leave me be? Thank yes, you. yes. What is it? Can I help you with anything else? Uh, here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Indeed. Indeed. Carlia. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Uh, yes. Problem. Let me see it. Very well. No, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. Hmm. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. All right. No. What? However, I know someone who might. Hmm. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Ah, oh, very well. In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Hmm. 
Okay. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. Sounds like Nords. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. Mm. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Uh, and Charis. They love, um, domesticating those creatures. For sure. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. Hmm. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Ah, uh -huh. I see. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Hmm. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Very well. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Well, very well. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. He was devastated when he was killed. Hmm. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. <laughs> I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. Uh -huh. I was astounded and in turn led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Very interesting. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Very well. Is this the tome you were speaking of? When will enough be enough? Can I help you with anything else? Now, while I am so close, I may as well deliver this amulet to Onmund, up here. Surely he will be grateful, perhaps rewarding me with some excellent things. Who knows? Who knows? The old college. How wonderful. I feel so at home here. Perhaps we can go another few decades without a disaster. That would be nice. Uh, it's questionable that that is possible, but perhaps. Wonder if he is in the main building, or perhaps in the barracks? Barracks. Whatever. Bed chambers. Hall of Attainment. Ah, Berlina, Marion. It's a fine day with you around. Yes, and you as well. Sorry to wake you. I was just uh, admiring you as you sleep. That's creepy, I guess. I never would have suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. Tolfdir is right, isn't he? Magic really can overwhelm you. I mean, if you're weak, I suppose. <laughs> I didn't think you'd really give it back. Well. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. It's good to know I can count on you. Indeed. I am I the, uh... Me. Nothing? No reward of any kind? Good day, friend. Keeping well? Well. 
Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Ah, you're very welcome. Very welcome. Markarth, eh? This is a place I have yet to arrive at. Is there still a carriage driver at this town, I wonder? If I could hire him to take me there, I wouldn't have to walk the whole way. This would be a much more comfortable form of travel, admittedly. I am an adventurer. Don't suppose you didn't shot my sword. Donald Blade can barely cut butter. Ah, uh, then it sounds like you need a grindstone, not an enchanter. Hold on, Gagan. Why would you want to enchant a dull blade? Not sure. Oh, I do not see a carriage driver of any kind. This is the main road, I believe. There's a side road here. I don't suppose he would be in this place. Well, here is to legging it. Ah, Morthal. Damn shame. Damn shame. Yes. Wait, I know you. Nope. Never seen me before in your life. I've only saved the town. Don't speak to me. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. Let's see. I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. Best, huh? You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you barehanded. You believe so, hey? Well, fine. Just your own two hands. Weapons and magic are out. Now let's see what you've got. Stamina. Yes, face to face here. Out of my way, folks. What are you talking about? Who are you, even, to be trying to give me tips on what I do? You're making me angry. Why? Stamina is waning so quickly. I have no stamina regeneration at the moment. Whoa. We have no shortage of referees around either. I'm trying. I just need some stamina. That's all. I think so, eh? I'm not running away, I'm just resting. I'll let you live this time. Well fine. Ah, I don't have time. It would take me all day. Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up. He's tough, but I think I'm very close to being able to take him. still following me, for some reason. Oh, I know that Markarth is to the west, but there are some unfinished activities I have on my maps to the north. Ooh. Oh, 
dragonflies. Oh, wow. Water makes everything much colder. Ah, here we are. I've never been here before. Minor healing. Every little bit helps, I suppose. This door looks quite solid. I feel there may be a puzzle. Coming up. Pickaxe. Should be fine. This looks like a secret door. I have does not fit, however. All right, these are set and solid. These are movable. Snake and a fish. They appear to be aligned. Breads, tomatoes. Sure. Oh. Well, that was awkward. It's a good thing that I am resistant to fire. Be dead yet again. Oh, I thought that was a skeever. I was absolutely certain at first. Did not even get a shot off. Whoa, oh, I did. I did take a couple hits though, sadly. Several adventurers here. Aha. An elven mace. Hmm. Bit heavy for me right now, I believe.
minor stamina. I wonder if that fist fighter would have been upset by me drinking a potion. I feel as though he would. I wonder if there's any treasure at the bottom of that pond. Surely someone has fallen in and been locked below. They may have gold or other goodies on them. Oh. Well, every small amount adds up. That's it. Aha! This is what I've been needing. Honeycomb and tap roots, eh? Here we are. Lifetime of research. The truth of the tale. Amulet fragments. Ooh. Pain of death, indeed. Thousands of years. Obsessed with it, it seems. Very well. I assume this activates the keyhole I saw earlier, which I was unable to Access. Nice try. Hesitated for quite some time. It's fine though. Watch your step. Good grief. Almost run completely through. Oh. Yes, get rid of a few of those. Oh, I see it now. I thought for certain it was further ahead of me. Come now. Interesting. Preserved in a standing position. Aha, I see you. There we are. Sure. Oh, you would think I would have learned a bit better, but keeping my eyes out for traps. Sorry, young lady. Nothing personal. Dwarven war axe, eh? Surely. Ah. No, it's not what I wanted. I 
I've overlooked it. Ah, here. Stamina potions. Oh, four levers, eh? Any indication of what order I should switch them? that have been avoided? I'd say not. And I no longer lament its occurrence. Mm, nothing back here. Could be argued that I already have enough ancient Nord arrows. Could also be argued that these two come to life. And indeed they would have. Unlabeled. You realize this is a safety issue. Far stronger. <laughs> hmm, it appears to be stuck. Not what I meant to do. Oh, lucky that I did not fail there. Hmm, this isn't the same. I assume that this room was linked to the other, but it is not. Curious. No indication of which direction these should be facing, so far as I can tell. Only be 
a trap. Is that not correct? Hmm. Curious room. Has this reopened this one? It does. Aha! Right, facing the door, it's a bird, a fish, and a snake. I feel this would be the snake. This ought to be the fish and the bird. Ah. Puzzle solved. Deeper we delve. Spiders. Why spiders? Do so seriously dislike spiders. I appreciate them for their capabilities. Cleaning up other unsavory creatures. But not if they feel compelled to attack me. Oh, silver ring. Interesting to me that there are potions of healing in a place where everything is dead except the creatures that would never use them. Hmm. This is an unsettling chamber here. Ah, yes. Closed. Nice try. Only slightly painful. Wealthy one, eh? Three wolves. Hmm. 
There must be an indication. Somewhere. Oh, I recall. If I look at the ivory claw itself... How can I ex inspect it closer? Yes. Bird, bird. Certainly not a wolf. A dragon, perhaps? Not a very wealthy sort of place. Hmm. Well. I came here for answers. But this dungeon continues deeper and deeper. Consumes my time. And I certainly have other things to attend to. But no matter. This is where I am now. I shall continue. <laughs> 